As we talk about the different methods for gathering responses for polls, a relatively new option is using panels. Some national organizations have been using panels for a long time, but it's a new thing that the general public has the availability and the option to use panels to get poll responses. This is new though, and not a lot of people know about it. So I've got the expert, Abe Levy. He's our data guy. He's our data wizard. I'm Colin Corbett. We're going to talk about how do you use panels for your polling. Abe, thanks for joining me. Happy to be here. All right, so, uh, and by the way, it is a special thing to have Abe. Usually he's in his bat cave, we don't get him out. Uh, so we're excited to have him in public. People actually get to see your face every once in a while. Yeah. He's our data guy, so he's always pounding away. So tell us, what the heck is a panel? What is it that we're even talking about here? So panels are basically a group of individuals that have opted in to participate in various topics. Um, whether it's political, market research, um, you name it. They're, they're signed up and ready and they're happy to engage. Okay, so you have, uh, that's a really good sort of simple explanation for it. It's a universe of people who are already ready to take a survey. Yep. That's the kind of the basic way we can explain this. Let's get a little bit more in depth on what that is because there's companies that will allow you to use digital, like online you can do some uh, uh, survey types like this online. Some have texting universes, call universes. This yep. can get a little more complicated, right? Exactly. Um, and uh, more expensive depending on what you do. But there are different groups. So like one, one organization that you might go with or company you might go with or provider, they might have um, a panel that's a phone panel. One might have a digital panel, right? There's different types. Exactly. And in any case, it's always going to be people who've said, sure, I'll take surveys, um, which that eliminates a lot of your sunk cost or your wasted cost in poll work. Because a lot of the times, just getting your sample, getting to the people you want to speak to, that's a big chunk of your cost. Because you've got, when you, if you're phone calling or you're texting or you're going online and you're trying to survey a certain demographic or people who are voters or people who live in a certain area, you're having to go through a bunch of people who don't fit those qualifications and you're paying for each of those before you finally find the people you want to talk to. That's not a problem here. That eliminates that problem, right? Exactly. So that's a big benefit, and you have people who are ready and willing to take surveys. Yeah, uh, you just ring them up or you know, uh, reach out to them via email, and they're just there to give their responses. Is there any negatives to that? Like oftentimes, I want to get responses from people who are normal people. I'd imagine the people who become part of a panel are a little bit more engaged. Is that something you got to keep in mind, that you're not necessarily getting the less engaged people, you're getting the more engaged people? Is that something we should be careful about? Yeah, so they're going to be um, a little more informed on various topics. Uh, whereas if you call an average voter, um, which is really what, when we do polling, we generally want that sort of representation. Um, those opinions can be, you know, if you look at the final results, panels versus like uh, average voters from like automated dialing or live dials, uh, you'll see a skew of slight difference. Like so it's not going to be, it wouldn't be a skew necessarily. It'd be a little bit of a difference in the results. Yeah. But that would be explained by the people you're talking to on panels are a little bit more engaged. Yep. They're a little bit more informed. So you just know that going into it and then you're fine, but they will be different than responses you would get from a, a live poll or an automated poll, right? So just keep that in mind when you're using panels. Exactly. But some of the benefits that come with using these panels, I mean, being able to demographic match. We've got a lot of clients who want to poll just females or they want to poll business owners or they want to survey uh, teachers or young parents. I mean, a lot of times you want a specific demographic. A panel makes it so much easier to get straight to who you want to talk to, right? Yep. We just can go to uh, any of our vendors that we use for panels um, and then select what we're looking for specifically. Um, we can obviously do the general, just anyone. But again, like you said, if we're looking for just women who are between the ages of 30 and 40 and we want opinions on, you know, the presidential race, uh, we can get just that. Yeah. Whereas if you just go your standard route for polling, you're having to narrow down to that field, which is just a lot of wasted cost. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, yeah. So there's a, there's a lot of benefits to this. Um, it's also a way to do sort of a pseudo focus group, um, if, especially if you did it via live dialing to that group. You can ask them specific questions, get their feedback, have a bit of a conversation uh, with them. And so uh, uh, panels is sort of the, the, the entryway step into 
doing more of those uh, in-depth discussions, which would be not necessarily polling, but more focus groups. But if you want to head more that direction, panels is sort of your entryway into that, right? Yep. And that's a that's a different ball game. I mean, with polling, it's a it's a two-way conversation, but it's not. It's question and answer. Whereas um, panels are a little bit more of a discussion. Focus groups are a lot more of a discussion. You can get a lot of value out of those discussions that you can't get from a standard poll. And so focus groups giving you a little bit of an entryway into that world can be a lot of a benefit for a lot of clients. Exactly. Okay. Um, what are some of the advantages, the other advantages you've seen with using panels for gathering responses? Um, the pricing is cheaper than live dialing, um, generally speaking, uh, especially if you're doing like the digital or email versions. But, um, and the turnaround time is pretty quick. So, um, you know, these people are already ready and like we said, they're opted in to uh, give their opinions. So um, getting those responses is a very fast turnaround. Okay, so reduced cost um, is a great thing. Uh, quicker turnaround is a great thing. Um, I, I'd imagine there are some uh, increases in accuracy as well over maybe like an automated or a mail survey. Yep. It's not going to be as accurate as some of the other, like a, like a live dial, but it's going to be more accurate than automated or online or mail. Yep. Uh, okay, so increases in accuracy. Um, what else? Anything else that's, a, I mean, obviously there's a, there's a potential, maybe not a direct respondent match, but at least you're going to get a demographic match depending on who you use. Yep. Some of them are locking that down where they don't give you that respondent or that uh, the demographic information anymore. So you want to be careful who you use for this. Make sure who you use uh, tracks demographics and lets you uh, utilize that demographic information. Otherwise, you don't know who you're getting responses from. So that's something to be cautious about. Mm -hmm. um, okay, we've talked about the positives. What are the negatives? What are things to be cautious about? when it comes to these panels. We talked about it's a more informed audience, so know that. We talked about being careful about uh, making sure you get access to demographics. What else? Um, you're going to get a lot of um, the younger demographics via panels, so just keep that in mind if you're trying to get uh, equal representation of all the different uh, age brackets. Um, you will get more young people than seniors. Okay, and this, this is a newer thing. Yeah. So you're gonna have more early adopters doing this, which tends to be yeah. a younger crowd. We do anticipate in the coming years that you'll see more representation from seniors and some of those people who maybe take an extra minute or two to adopt something like this. Um, plus the technology is improving. There are multiple providers out there. They're gonna be competing against each other. They're gonna solve that problem. So we think panels will continue to grow as a great option. We're just in the front end of this right now. So it's not perfected just yet, right? Mm -hmm. Where do you see this going down the road? I mean, it seems like this is something that's going to have a lot of value for people. Um, I think it's opening the doors, like you said, to focus groups. Um, I think that, I don't think it's going to take over polling in general. Um, I don't think you'll ever be able to uh, publicly uh, push out a poll and say that we did 100% panel. Um, and then that be a very valid or 100% You'll never be 100% accurate, but very accurate poll. Mm -hmm. um, I think that it really complements um, live dials and automated. Um, and I think in the future, you know, different organizations, whether we're talking um, our own company doing telecom or, um, you know, think tanks having panels on standby for any issue that you want to talk about is going to be such an asset. Well, and what you're talking about there is what I was going to end with, so great segue, which is there's value if you do a good a good amount of survey work, there is value in creating your own panel. It takes time, it takes effort, it takes money, but if you're going to be doing regular survey work, creating a panel of your own, a large enough panel that you're not asking the same people the same questions every time, but getting a panel that covers your region, whether it's nationwide or specific states, um, is, is hugely beneficial. An upfront cost, but long-term savings uh, and value that's absolutely worth it. You gotta be doing regular polling, it's gotta be something that you're really invested in, um, but we absolutely think that if you're a larger organization or one that intends to do polling for a, a good period of time, this is the way of the future. Every organization is gonna have their own panel that they create. Get on the front end of that now um, before other people lock everybody up, before it gets more expensive. Uh, do that now and take advantage of it now, and then you can just maintain it over time. If you're adding a certain number of people to that panel, uh, regularly, every quarter or every year, you can keep it fresh, you can keep it clean. Uh, and now it's just maintaining instead of building. But these costs are going to go up. 
Right now it's new. Right now this is a newer technology, newer platforms. People are eager to get clients to try this out. So you're getting a lot of discounts, you're getting a lot of deals. When they figure it out, when this is final and everything moves forward as normal as if it was live dials, costs are probably gonna go up. I mean, I would guess double, but maybe I'm wrong. They're definitely gonna go up. Yeah. So do it now, lock it in now when everything's new and fresh. Because I think if, you've, if you have your own panel, you're gonna be ahead of your competition for sure. Absolutely. Um, all right, any final thoughts on, on panels before we close the video? Um, it's been a new thing that I've only just started using over the past couple of years, but I, I love having them in addition to a lot of the polling that we're doing. I think that's the key, right? In addition, we talk about with each of these videos, we really encourage you not to lean on just one methodology for gathering your responses. There are always opportunities for SKU when you, when you rely on one. So combine, use panel plus one of the other options. We're doing a video on each of the options, so feel free to watch those and to learn more about the different options that are available to you. We really think panel is something you should be looking into. It's got a lot of advantages, just you got to make sure you use it wisely. Thanks, Abe, for joining me. Again, I've been Colin Corbett. It's been great talking to you about polling. We'll come back next month with even more information.